Okay, so Dimash, Story of One Sky. This is a live version from one of his concerts. It's fan cam footage, um, but I'm being told that this is the best fan cam footage that there is. I'm not usually a fan of fan cam, um, but I've been told that this is a really good one, and I have no issues reacting to Dimash. As you know, um, all of his live stuff, I've got no issues. We've already reacted to the song. If you actually want to go and see the actual breakdown of the song, uh, and my initial thoughts to this song, you can go look obviously in my uh, Dimash playlist. I probably have about 150 reactions to this godly figure. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get straight into this. The story of one scar. This was an amazing, amazing piece. Let's see him do this live. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Can't believe what's happening at all. All this place he will be beautiful. We are the ones we know. Goosebumps, bad. <laughs> Do you know what the thing is? I've said this a thousand times before with the man, right? But I don't think people actually understand or acknowledge the fact that, you know, when he does this type of thing live, granted, he's a phenomenal vocalist, probably the best vocalist in the world, right? I haven't seen, I haven't seen many other vocalists that match him. But it's a culmination of things that make Dimash great, right? Firstly, it's his body language on stage, where it's not, it's not just a performance to him. It's actually every performance is the performance to him, and you can feel it, right? He loves everything he does, and he delivers it that way. But not only does he love everything he does and delivers it that way, he's obviously got the vocals to back that up. But with those vocals come the emotion in his face that I don't think we've spoken about much in the past the emotions in his face just absolutely scream his belief system it screams who he is as a person it screams his emotion and i kind of feel that on stage he struggles to control that and i'm not saying struggles as in you know this, I'm, i find it hard to believe that this man struggles at anything but i feel a person who's that emotional a person who's that connected to their art really it takes a lot for them to try and sort of compose themselves specifically in, you know, the, the public eye. And I think the way he controls that, right, to sort of like keep those emotions like down so that he himself doesn't like sort of show too much emotion so that it doesn't sort of has an, doesn't have any inflection on his voice. It comes out through his face, right? His love for what he's doing, his love for the words he speaks, shows in his facial expressions. You know, it's, it's, I don't know if that, if any of that makes sense. Maybe I'm not articulating that well enough, but that is just what I feel about uh, Dimash. <laughs> It's one of the best pieces he's ever done, hands down.
actually never realized up until this point. And I think it's just because the video was so, you know, you got so engrossed by the video that he made for this particular song and you get so engrossed by his vocals. That's the one thing about Dimash is that his vocals kind of like steal your attention. So you kind of like sort of glaze over the instrumentation. The <coughs> Sorry. The instrumentation on this piece is incredible. So because he's because it's a it's a cell phone microphone, right? You hearing the, they they're probably closer to those monitors than they are, you know, to to the monitor where you can actually hear his voice. So the instrumentation's coming through a little bit more than his voice is coming through. It's purely because it's the cell phone, and you got to understand, cell phone microphones are like this tiny, so it's not going to pick up any sort of real detail. But even though they that small and you can't pick up that much detail you can hear his vocals are insane but the one thing that i never picked up on um in the original one purely not because i chose not to pick up on purely because i was so distracted by the video and his vocals that the instrumentation the composition of this piece is actually very beautiful it really really is <laughs> Sorry, and the reason why, and I'll explain to you quickly, I apologize for pausing, I'll try not to pause uh, much more after this, but the reason why you're getting more of that bass and instrumentation from where you, you know, from where the fans are, from where this is being recorded, is because they usually put the bass, the, 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 the bass monitor speakers, um, sort of like ground levels, so that, that you get that rumble right across the ground and they usually put the treble speakers that are usually convey the the the, the the vocals and the higher sort of uh, um, instrumentations like the hi-hats and things like that they put that higher and at a curve so that it throws it further essentially so acoustically that is why i think they do that i'm not entirely sure frank you the acoustic engineer over here tell me if that if that is in any way um uh, um, um, uh, a sensible uh, thing. I just know because from the eventing industry that I've also been in, um, obviously I was never involved in the AV, but I just, that's how much I would ascertain that much because you kind of do hear the treble above you and you do hear the, 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 the bases and, you know, below, below you essentially. <laughs> Facial expressions. Take a look at his facial expressions. Take a look at <laughs> take a look at his facial expression. Beautiful man. Sorry, I've got to pause and take that back. I love that angelic sound. 
that, that, that we are choosing, just the way, that inflection, the way he plays with that so easily, man. Wait, go back, go back, go back. That part over there has more of an effect when you are performing this live as opposed to the video because that kind of thing, it, like it reverberates across the stage. Like you, that part over there has so much power and it's so much spirituality to it that when you throw that over a crowd, right, and you combine that with the crowd energy, it, it kind of, you kind of have like a surreal moment in the open air. Again, I'm not sure if I'm making sense there, but if you've been to a concert, you and, you know, you get those kind of moments where you kind of feel like, geez, this is above all. This is like a godly experience. It's, it's purely a psychological thing. But th that part over there um, in an, like an open air outdoor concert hits harder, I think. <laughs> There's drones flying around. Flying that drone awfully close to my Damash, man. Don't crash into my Damash, man. <laughs> Play around with drones, man. I've smacked people in the face with drones because I thought I was an amazing pilot. <laughs> Don't you dare touch my Damash with that drone, man. everywhere but i was just about to say i did i like i so badly want to see that uh like that dgr uh drone footage because obviously the guy who's flying the drone is pretty good at what he's doing so i'd love to see that 360 rotation of dimash in like 4k i'd love to see that <laughs> Just, I'm still getting goosebumps. <laughs> this is just, just every time I get to that part.
Could you imagine this laugh? Oh my god. I just, I can't. Could you imagine this laugh? What that must sound like. I told you there's these, there's these like sort of outer body, heavenly, transcendent moments in concerts. And this is the perfect example of what that was. And there's, there's not, there's not many, there's very few with very limited artists that are able to do that, right? But this part over here, Dimash, I'd love to listen to this outdoors, man. I'd just love to listen to this in a concert, man. <laughs> Gotta go back, and it's good. I like the fact that the mesh is here now in this spot. But other people that side have seen you enough. Stay here, stay in this spot. You know, meanwhile, I can see you properly. Stay in this spot. You know what we're waiting for. Take it off! Take it off! All the ladies just, their hearts skipped a beat as he did that. Or like, you know, if you had to actually see the the actual graph of their heartbeat. Do -do. Do -do. Do -do. The mash takes his top off. Do -do. Do -do. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go, go back. And he actually looks like Wolverine now. Have you seen him with his new beard? I saw a picture on his on his uh, community tab the other day where he's got like this full beard, right? And he actually looks like Wolverine. He looks like he could play the Wolverine character. I think it's time. I think it's time. We've done the James Bond thing. We've done other things, bro. It's time. It's time for the Wolverine Dimash, man. Come on, bro, with the claws. Come on, bro, but those uh, come on, bro. <laughs> you should see, like, I don't know. I didn't think it came that quickly. That part over there, that part over there is a sneaky one. That's a sneaky part. That one catches me all the time. I mean, this dude is taking this lab, listen to his voice lab, and you listen to this through a cell phone, and it sounds insane. Through a cell phone. Could you actually, oh, I just, you can't. That part, that part sneaked up on me. I was waiting for it, and then I'm like, ah, oh, maybe not now, and then he just did it. Come on. Delivering. What am I doing? Wait, wait, wait. My, my computer just freaked out because I just started touching buttons everywhere. Relax, Phil. Calm down. Look at the way he's delivering that. Look at the amount of conviction he delivers that. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you about this guy. This guy and the way he delivers stuff, for him to hold emotion, the only way he can let that emotion, like, sort of not completely overtake him is to actually just let that his facial expressions are that his body sort of contains it 
right? So that it doesn't have, his voice stays absolutely perfect. Like people who are like heavily emotional about what they do, sometimes that emotion can overwhelm them and you can hear the inflection in their voice. But he's too much of a damn professional for that. So his body just absorbs that passion. And you can feel it. Like it radiates off him. It's almost like he's trying to contain this force. But it all comes out of the pores of his skin. (laughs) It's like crazy. Go back. Go back, go back. Let's go. Breathe, son. Breathe, boy. You deserve to breathe. Breathe. Yes, yes, it's just it takes it all out of him, man. Uh. Fire, man. This dude is just... In every which way, man. What a statement. What a statement, man. What a statement. This guy. Uh, You know what? I actually... I've run out of things to actually describe this person. He's actually indescribable at this point. He's indescribable. I think he's just... Man... You know what he is, man. I love you all, man. Please stay safe, please stay healthy. I'll catch you in the next one.